So we're doing this again. We're constructing an angle. Um, here they give me the directions on how to do this. So if you can read these directions and follow them, that'll help you out. But we've already gone through this. So I'm going to construct this angle. I'm going to copy that angle over here. So I'm going to need a baseline, random line with the end point. And now we're going to copy the angle. So I'm going to do an arc. Let's see, set up on my vertex, an arc through the angle, copy that arc. Measure between. So measure the distance of the angle opening and bring that over to here. And there we go. Now I can connect the points. And I'm going to do that for each of these angles on here. So here we go. Next angle. Make my baseline, my end point. Big arc that goes through it. Copy the big arc. Measure the opening. Oops. This is the tricky part sometimes, getting that opening just right. There we go. Measure the opening. Copy the measured opening. There we go. There's my intersection. There's my angle. One more angle to copy. Make my baseline, my end point, big arc. Big arc through the angle. Okay. Notice how I didn't hit the angle? That's okay. I'm going to make that longer. Okay. Stretch that out. Copy the big arc. Copy the big arc. Measure the opening from here to there. So from there. to there. Copy that to over here. And connect. There we go. Copy the three angles. Now to the next page. Here we're bisecting. Again, they give you directions there, but I'm going to try to help you out with saying it. Bisecting an angle, even easier. Set up, and again, big arc through the angle. Go to each endpoint. I'm going to go to this endpoint and make a mark inside the angle. Another mark on the inside of the angle. And there we go. Connect them. I'll do the same with this next one. Doesn't matter that they change direction on me. Don't care. Do an arc through the angle. Remember, the arrows are nothing. We ignore the arrows. Do a mark inside the angle. Come to the other intersection. And another mark. There we go. It's easy. And connect the two. There's my bisector. One more. Obtuse angle. Did one of these earlier today. I was doing the same thing. So here we go. Big arc. Somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. There we go. I got my intersection point now. And there we are. Okay. Okay, one more set and we're all good.